Okay, welcome back to the blank series. So today we are going to solve a very interesting problem that is linked list cycle. Okay, you are given a head of a linked list and you have to determine if the linked list is a cycle in it or not. So if the linked list have a cycle, you have to return true. And if the linked list doesn't have a cycle, you have to return false. Okay, very simple question. Let's see how can we solve this. So let's open this and Let's create a link list first. So our link list will look something like one, which is pointing to two, which is pointing to three, which is pointing to four. Let's say it is pointing to five, which is pointing to six. Okay, let's erase this five. And let's Let's write it here. This four is pointing to five. This five is pointing to six. And then this six is pointing to this two. Okay. So this is the linked list we have. And this is our head. Of course, right? Okay. So before starting the algorithm, let's first discuss a few things. Okay. Okay. So let's say there is a circular track. There is a circular track. This is the starting point. Okay. There are two players. One is player one. Okay. And a player one have speed X. Okay. Player one is running with a speed X. There is player two, which is running with a speed two X. Okay. Twice the speed of player one. Okay. So if both the players are running on this circular track, can I say? they are bounded to meet at some point of the track at some at some position of the track they are bounded to meet what i mean by that is if player one let's say player one starts running okay and of course player two also starts running right so when player one completes the half of the track in that time player two will complete the full track because player two have twice the speed of player one. Okay. And when player one completes the full track in that time, player one, player two can take one more lap of the track and both player one and player two will again meet at the starting point. Right. So I can say if player one and player two if two players are running on a circular track and a, and one player have a different speed than another other player, so they are bounded to meet at some position of the track. Okay. So we are going to use this logic in our code. Okay. Let's see. All right. So for this question, let me first erase this head. I am going to take two pointers. The first is slow pointer and the second one is fast pointer. Okay. So this slow pointer, okay. This slow pointer will take a step of one. Okay. This slow pointer will take a step of one. So slow will go to slow dot next. Then it will go to next and it will go to next. Okay. And this fast pointer, let me rewrite it again. Sorry for my writing. This is slow is equals to slow of next. Okay. And fast will move with two steps. So fast will be fast of next of next. Okay. So fast will move something like next of next. So in one step, fast will take two steps. Sorry, in one move, fast will take two steps. And in one move, slow will take just one step. Okay. So let's try to relate this with the circular, circular track thing. Okay. Let's try to relate it with that. Okay. 
So let's say this linked list is our track. Okay. And this slow is player one and this fast is player two. Okay. If at some position, slow and fast are pointing to the same node. Okay. If at some position, this slow pointer and this fast pointer are pointing to the same node, we can say that this linked list is a circular linked list because they are meeting at some point, right? Because if this is not a circular track, if it is not a circular link list, this slow and fast cannot meet because this fast is running with the twice speed of this slow, right? Slow is running with, let's say X speed. So this fast is running with twice the speed of X, right? So this fast and slow will never meet if this link list is not circular. Okay. And if this link list is circular, they will meet. We can return true. Okay. So yeah, let's move forward with this algorithm. Okay. So we are going to, we are going to run both of these statements again and again. Okay. Let's see how it will goes. Slow move from here to here in one step and fast move from here to here in one step. Okay. Now slow will move from here to here in one step and fast will move from here to here. Okay. So now you can say fast is here and slow is here. All right. So now Okay. So now slow will move from here to here and fast will move from here to this two. Okay. Again, slow will move from here to here and fast will move from here to here. Okay. Now you can see they are going to meet at six, right? Let's see. Now the slow will move from five to six. Okay. And now this fast will move from four to six. You can see at six, both slow and fast will meet. And if slow and fast are meeting at some node, it means this link list contains cycle. Okay. So this is how this algorithm works. Okay. So you know how the algorithm works. Let's try to code it now. Okay. Again. Yeah. Before, before, like before coding, this algorithm runs in over and time complexity, right? Because if there is cycle, we will get the cycle in some way over and time complexity. And if there is no cycle, then after over and time, this, uh, this loop, this will be a while loop. This while loop will stop. Okay. So let's see how can we code this. All right. So we have to check whether it has cycle or not. So they are of course two pointers, right? One is slow, which is pointing to head. Another one is called fast, which is also pointing to head. Okay. Now we have to run a loop and in that loop, what we have to do slow is equals to uh, slow of next. And then we have to do fast is equals to fast of next of next, right? Okay. So this loop will only run when slow is not null, right? And then fast is not null, right? And, and fast of next is also not null. Then only then this, uh, these both like this loop can run, right? Otherwise, if I will not make these checks, that whether the slow is not null or not, uh, then this will give me error. If I'll not make the check of this fast and fast dot next, then this line will, will give me error, right? Because I cannot access the next of a null. Okay. I can only access the next of a node. All right. So then only this while, uh, while, uh, while loop will work. Okay. If now the main check, very important check. If 
at any situation, like at any position, fast is equals to slow. If at any position, fast is equals to, equals to slow, we can simply return true from here. And if we have not returned true yet, it means there is no loop, just return false. Very simple code and very simple question, right? So let's run it. Accept it. Let's submit it. So yeah, submitted, right? So yeah, it was very simple question, but very important question. Uh, uh, can be asked in interview. Okay, can be asked in interview. A very high chance of getting asked in interview. Okay, so yeah, that's it for this video. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching and keep coding till the next video drops.